speaking of moving on, um, the uh, the the, what the, a segue. the WWE uh, they they posted about the uh, the greatest theme wrestling theme of all time. Uh, so I decided, uh, why don't we talk about that now, Tim? I know we were we were going on the back and forth on on Facebook, and we have some cool ideas of uh of how exactly we might actually determine what is the uh the greatest wrestling theme uh in the history of wrestling themes um but i thought we'd uh, i thought we'd dive into this topic just a little bit tim's t- tim's got some things going on there's things happening um is that a bottle of booze it's a bottle of salt jim a bottle of salt hold on i'm here <laughs> all right tim's still here uh well i'm gonna i'm gonna hit uh a couple of the listener responses from facebook we appreciate all the feedback uh that we got uh that we got over and there uh but uh nick says edge rock and taker now here's the thing i asked what is the greatest theme ever uh and and so many people gave multiple responses so apparently people don't know what the word. And he uh, here's the th- here's the problem. So We're on this day, <laughs> which edge theme, which rock theme, which taker theme? Right. Multiples. Right. Exactly. Okay. So, Alter Bridge Edge is the best edge. We can agree on that, right? I I I'm agree. Not prognosticating, but if we're doing like a, a field of sixty four. Metalingus has to be a number one seed in any branch. I agree because that theme is a banger, and it, yeah. and it is it is so good. Um, you but, guys have heard the song, correct? Yeah, yeah. The actual, yeah, the actual the song. The beginning of the song is, or the beginning of the theme is the end of the song. Yes, right. Okay, We're, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Which is a total mind yeah. f if you're I'm not a rookie. Yeah, come on. I'm just making sure. <laughs> We're not new I'm at not this. I'm saying y'all. Like so Frank. Good. Frank, Frank and I, Frank and I have disagreed on a lot throughout the uh, the pandemic era of professional wrestling. So much. However, Frank, he he got it, he hit it. He said, "Has to be DX." When the music hits, you know something is about to happen. He gave one response. Whether or not that's the correct quote unquote answer, he responded with one theme. He did. DX. He did. He did. He solid. Going, DX is solid. DX is- if he's going with the moment you hear something, you knew something was up. How can you not say that Stone Cold Steve Austin? Then how can you not say that's Hulk Hogan? Yeah, like or Bret Hart. <laughs> the guitar riff in. Well, but the pro- like the problem. Somebody's about to get wrestled. Like, the- <laughs> don't get me wrong. I love obviously. I've, I'm a heart mark. I fucking love Bret Hart. I watched backstage this week. Because Bret Hart was on it, uh, Bret Hart, Bret Hart and Sam Punk are together. Oh. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're talking about Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but uh, dear, yeah. why are you so sticky? Oh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I uh, got some more mulch. <laughs> 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 uh, um, listen to the pre-show, post-show only on on Patreon. You'll get the joke. Um, it's two bucks a month, you cheapers. You cheap asses, buy it. Patreon. <laughs> We're just harassing people. Yeah, right give now. me your money, punk. <laughs> um, but Lunch uh, money style. Get his ankles. Hold I, him up. Like with Bret Hart, there were there there was two different versions because you had the original, like the Hart Foundation version, and then you had the squealing guitar version. Like Austin, that and other, I get that other version, and I get no like way. the I get Austin's music, like the music itself got tweaked over the years because you had to put out volume three, volume four, volume five, volume six of the, of the, you know, metal. Yeah, of, yeah, metal. You had, you know, you had the disturbed version in there, which I think a couple people had thrown that version up. That's good. Glass shatters is good. But when, like, when that glass like hit, it. man, oh, man, when the glass shattered, you knew shit was going down because it was Steve Austin time. The rocks too. The rocks if too. smell like, that's what's up. I just got the hiccups now. All of a sudden, that's all right. Gonna it's getting fun. heated. This is gonna be a fun it's podcast. It's getting hot. Time. Um, you know, Didn't and the, the Rock another... have the one with the helicopter for a while. See, I think that Hollywood one Rock, is the bet Hollywood Rock is the best rock theme. That was really good. Hollywood Rock, rock was so good. It was really good, and because 
at that point, he was so we're hated. Have to put together, uh, what, what did we say, sixty-four? Yeah, I think what we, I think what we yeah, kind of decided. Even know if we could limit it to sixty-four, there's so many. If you go to, if you do too many, like I you're, get it. At that point, you're just including every theme. So what I think needs to happen, this is just me. Sorry, we could talk this out. It's what we're here Everyone, for. Everyone, including our fans. Okay. Recount Thursday at gmail.com. Is that correct? Yes. That's, what it That's is. the email. The number address. three. Not the, the word three. three. Always the no, number. Never three. the word, always the number. Correct. Compile your list of the top 32 themes. We'll then give them a point total. So, okay. like, for example, lowest total number of points is your highest seed. Okay. The, the biggest point total to a certain degree is going to be your your lowest. Like, you'll rank them 1 to 32. Okay. I'm pretty sure between the five of us and the millions. And millions. Listening along on LEEIB Sports <laughs> and... Uh, NGSC Sports. NGSC Sports. That's our home network. NGSC home network. Sports.com. Stay on brand here, pal. <laughs> and on Facebook.com slash recount Thursday. Between all of us, I'm pretty sure there'll be at least 64 different themes. I would think so. I would think yeah, so. I would think everybody's like one through twelve is probably gonna be the same. Well, yeah. I don't know. I mean, well, like well, I mean, here's the thing. You're gonna get you're gonna get Rock, Austin, Taker, Hogan, Warrior. Like you're gonna like yeah. There, there's, edge. you know, edge. Like there, there's going to be ones that are, that are probably going to be repeated across just about every list. But there right are, now, th- there is one request I'd like to make for this. Okay. You can only pick the wrestler's theme once. I agree. Yes, I agree. Like I you agree. You can't do Hollywood rock and. Like like nation of domination. Like break rock. just broken away from nation of domination it's, rock. It's the best theme of a person in in it. Which, by the way, how now, long how long did it take you to realize that, like the Rock's music was the, the same, na- the Nation of Domination's theme, just like jazzed up I've, since the beginning. Yeah, it took me more years than it should have to realize that. Yeah, because it was like there was one time where like. You know, like, obviously, The Rock had come into singles popularity and whatever. And then I had heard, I had gone back and watched something, and I heard the Nation of Domination theme, and I went, holy hell. And, like, it finally yeah. it finally clicked with me that it was, it there's was. Also, I mean, the there's is slower, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah, also some Martin. inspiration taken from his Rocky Maivia theme, too. Oh, Ooh, so I didn't know. Was... Dun, t- dun, t- Dun, dun, oh, so it's kind of a, a meshing dun, of the two. Dun, dun. It was very, it was a very crappy theme, but you mix the nation's theme with the old school blue chipper Rocky Maivia theme, and then you get the rock. Yeah, yeah. And you can, when we're talking about rocks music, you never forget about pie either. Pie! Right. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> um, but there's also like a bunch of indie themes too. Like there's a lot of iconic indie wrestling themes sure or not like indie the four themes. Horsemen. <laughs> well wcw roh <laughs> themes um tna themes yeah like abyss has a banger trouble oh, trouble abyss trouble theme is a fucking banger That's ec3 a great is a banger trouble trouble trouble, trouble, trouble man banger. trouble 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 is probably gonna make my list spoiler it's alert a banger i love AJ trouble Styles, trouble trouble i am like oh his, shit his styles, i am man so now if, if i would a current if I, aj styles theme you'll oh, want none. shit that's a fact man Tough. i forgot about i am Woo! Yeah. jeff that, jarrett is his is is his wcw rip off of the kid rock song better than uh his tna theme uh, my world my world's a banger man dude Dale yeah. Oliver had some hits. Beer money Dale theme. Oliver, yes, for sure. So, all right, what we're gonna I have to do? Damn luck. What, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to we're gonna have to like put a post out there and be like, look, here's the deal. God damn, let's 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 but, yeah, wow. This is the thing that's gonna happen. Like, you're gonna you're gonna email us your list. We're gonna put an end date on the email 
submissions for people to get their get their list. Hey, in. Let's do this by the end of June. By the end of June, okay. That's plenty of time. Yeah, that's plenty of time. Submissions. That's like two weeks, a little less than two weeks. All right. Yeah. Okay. So submission. Let me write this down. Submissions by the end of June. And then it's list thirty up to thirty two, or list thirty two. I would say list. I would do your top. I would say your top thirty two if you can get that high. Like yeah, yeah. So no, no Man, more, I mean, no Alan, more than thirty two. Or if go you think that's too like many, the... you do twenty. I'm pretty sure we can get sixty four if everybody gets well, twenty. Let's, yeah, let's do let's do top twenty. It's a round number. People like twenty. Let's right. let's do top twenty themes for people. Because like here's the thing, like. God forbid somehow we have to fill some in. That's where the five of us yeah. will uh we'll, well, we'll, well let's not, let's us do thirty two then. That's easy we'll, enough. We'll we'll be we, so what we're looking for pretty much is like if this is NCAA basketball. The 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 great sport. Yes. But um the podcast listeners are going to be the major conferences. Yes. Of the course they're going to get the UNC's right and the Dukes right and the Kansas's and the Gonzagas, they're going to get all the major yeah. players right. We are responsible for the mid-majors, the ones that come in, the 5-12 brackets. We're filling in the hard matchups. Like, oh, you forgot about this, but let me tell you about All-American Boys. How's that? <laughs> well, let me, now, let now me tell that. you about the brood versus beer money. Let me tell you about that. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about that. Um, does that. Does that put us... In the ACC, or are we independent? Then I'm I'm not sure how that works. Well, I mean, I feel like I'm independent, but th- we, we may be in the ACC somehow. Well, technically, no. isn't Notre Dame isn't Notre Dame basketball a part of Notre Dame basketball's ACC? They're ACC yeah, so for they're everything except for football. In Football's independent. Yeah, so basketball yeah. they would be so in the ACC. ACC. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right, so yeah, I think that that sounds great. So for the people that are listening now and listening to this on the audio side, we are going to put an official post out. I'll work on that for tomorrow. Um, and get, if there's ever been a time, like we always say, like tell a friend and tell a tell a friend to tell a friend. Yes, to get more people. This, people love tournaments and people love talking about wrestling themes. Yeah. If you've got wrestling friends who don't listen to the podcast but they think this will be cool. Share the post. Exactly. Recount Thursday at gmail.com. It's really hard. It's really easy to send an email to somebody. If you don't even want to email, slide in the DMs. DM us your top 20. Yeah, you can DM like, us, the, Facebook, what's Twitter. Different? Like, it's all the same. Like, you, we have ways to be reached. Yeah. Like, send it. Full send it. What would Skinner. Otis want you to Skinner do? Skinner's theme, number one, Skinner. <laughs> but it's just like crickets. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Let me tell you about Skinner versus Right to Censor. Let me let, let, let let's see it. Let's see if that matchup There's makes actually, the bracket. It's actually the play-in game. It's a triple threat, and you got to add in Isaac Yankum DDS. Oh, uh, you know what's funny? I don't actually hate. I, like I don't even hate the sound of a dentist drill. It doesn't. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. All right, gives me the heebie-jeebies. Ooh, it's the way it is to a lot of people. But I didn't have a lot of it's dental not, work when I was a kid. So. I don't know. I thought I hated it. I had to get a root canal last year. They just shoot you up with Novocaine. I didn't <laughs> feel shit. It sucks. But I didn't, it is what it is. I didn't have my first cavity until I was like in my thirties. Ooh, look at you. So, like, by the time, like, brag about it. It. Uh, I mean, I it, it just it is what it is. I, I like I had. Hi, I'm Jim. I have good dental hygiene. Look at me. I well, wear I did, pink see, shirt. My, my teeth are the best. Well, my, my brother I'm and I, my brother and I, were like the were like the tail of two opposites because he had his teeth were like perfectly aligned, but he had cavities on like every tooth. My teeth were horribly aligned. I had like I had like four years of orthodontic work. That I Ooh, went through, but I never had I never had one cavity until I was until I was. Well, in that my was 30s. that was because your teeth were so spread out in your mouth that the germs couldn't come in. Exactly, it was it was great, <laughs> and I got them fixed, and then it just ruined everything. Um, it all they were like, Jim, why is your front tooth behind your ear? But uh, but I almost like when I was getting my my first cavity filled, I almost fell asleep in the chair. Yeah, yeah, you, you get that shot, you're good to go, man. Yeah, you don't feel nothing, you just. Borderline relaxing. Borderline relaxing. Um, it ain't a tattoo, my guy. Chill out. I mean, yeah, it's, I, still, it's still dental work. I'm telling you, man. I almost fell asleep. 